What is going on? What? When did that happen? How? If they change things, if they nerf things, I feel like it's most likely for good reason. I feel like at this point CCP must know what they're doing. However, I would like it if they were upfront about it. And if they said, you know, hey, we changed this because it seems like it was a little, little too profitable. So as long as they actually tell us, then that's cool. Then that's cool. Right? Right. The reason that you have insane drops on the first day, the reason you make it seem way cooler on day one, is because that is when the initial wave of hype washes over the community. And that's when people will be the most vocal about it. And that's when they want good press. Everyone will be like, oh my god, this is it. Capsule Day 21. This is the shit. You guys gotta get in on this. You're gonna get rich quick. And so on and so forth. And then, a day or two in, they nerf it a little bit, bring it into line to what they like actually wanted it to be. And they just go on with their lives. <laughs> and they don't accidentally infuse the market with too much free isk. That makes sense. That makes sense. Common practice. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? When did that happen? How? What is going on? I'm an Omega pilot. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I didn't do anything. Was someone generous to the maximum? Oh my God. Yo, okay, okay, okay. All right. I mean, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I guess this is happening, guys. <laughs> I guess this is happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm paid to win now. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel. I'm not sure how to feel about all of this. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, I feel the same. <laughs> okay, nothing's changed. We're fine. We're okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Omega's not the enemy, guys. We're okay. We're fine. <laughs> Someone's gonna get it, dude. Kid's gonna give it to you. Wow, dude, I, you know, I hear things like this all the time, and it's not that I don't trust you guys, I do. I've made it this far with your help. <laughs> but, like, I'm still afraid for my life. I'm always afraid for my life in New Eden. Because I feel like, at this point, my life is not in my hands. It's in the hands of every other pilot that's warping through the system that I'm in. You know? Because every other pilot that I come across has 20 years of experience on me. Whew. I'm working on my confidence. <laughs> oh, really? Dude, it was massive. I was a teeny weeny little beanie next to it. <laughs> I, love, I love undocking, dude. From one of these major stations like the Dixie or, God forbid, Jita. Every time you undock, it's an adventure all by itself. Seeing the other people come out here. I'm forever going to be bad at this. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Whew. I'm gonna just straight up say, I never even considered going to Omega anytime soon. I was thinking in a couple of months I would activate Omega. I did not think it would happen. And I have no way of knowing how I got it. So I'm in the dark here. I didn't research anything. I didn't look anything up. I don't know what comes with it. I don't know what to do with it. I can't believe we actually get to go on another one immediately. I'm so privileged. This is fantastic. I just get to go on another adventure immediately. I'm getting in on this. There's a deal waiting to be made. And there's a buck that I could pick up. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't, dude, 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 dude. I don't come from a place. That's above this kind of stuff. No. No. Dude. I'm gonna get my nose dirty. I'm jumping in there right now. Holy shit. Whew. Money. Isk. Yeah. Let's do it, dude. Why would you check? Just have faith in your fellow player. <laughs> oh, first mistake right there. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. First mistake right there. 
Oh my god. My ship leaves residue in space. Residue. And people can scan that so they'll know where I'm coming out. <laughs> Holy shit. That is not just one step too far. That is so many steps past what I thought was possible. So you're never safe. <sighs> you just told me in a single chat message as your first message on this channel that you make and sell those and that they make profit and that people always need them. That's insane. The amount of goodwill in that one message. The amount of trust in that one message. And the amount of kindness in that one message. Dude, there's no way any WoW player will divulge their market secrets. There's no way any Final Fantasy tycoon will tell you what they're doing. There's no way any other MMO player will tell you how to make money. It's their dirty little secret that they write in their little black book and they keep on their desk under lock and key that no one else is allowed to touch. You telling me that EVE players just share their secrets willy-nilly? <laughs> I think I found my people. <laughs> Where's my notepad? I put it in my ideas list. It's not a very long idea list. Okay. Three. <laughs> Become industrial tycoon in New Eden. Start by crafting exploration and relic analyzing. I don't know how to spell analyzing. Analyzing rigs. That's just step one. <laughs> I was struggling. Wait, I didn't tell you that I was struggling with it. Wasn't this like an internal struggle that I was having? Hello? Did I externalize my struggle? I don't think I externalized the struggle. Did I? I did. I did say something, didn't I? Holy shit. I think I talked too much. Because I don't remember. Hey, uh, have I killed someone? Uh... What? Yes, I've killed people. I'm a killer. I'm stone cold in space, dude. What kind of question is that? Copium. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't killed anyone, dude. Why would I have killed some? This is very interesting. They've set themselves up in a, I would say, a pretty creative way. They basically have their character as a mix of edgy and sort of like they've they've just come into their own as a person and they've chosen to identify as a blood raider scavenger type pirate in space but they've made their portrait quite small and they've centered it here because they don't want you to be intimidated they want you to be intrigued instead right they want you to be intrigued so then you get up to them and you're like, whoa, shit, what's going on here? Lily Blackwell, that actually sounds kind of fun. I mean, like, she she might have the lay of the land. She might know a thing or two. But then you get too close. And you see the teeth. And by that point, it's too late. And you end up just another name on her list. I'm great at talking useless stuff and making it interesting. <laughs> That wasn't useless. That was really important backstory. Bad Dragon 2. <laughs> uh, the curse of knowledge weighs heavy upon the soul. Yes, it does. The hell is this place? Hello? Weak and scrawny. No, I mean, what the shit? 
I thought I was going somewhere where there's no one. And I'm literally right next to someone. Barren planet. Warp drive active. It's a customs office. What? Why there? Exactly where I jumped to. What's the chance of that? I jumped right next to it. I want to be alone. I want to be alone. What if someone's finished filling out their forms for their new visa? And then they step outside. And then there's my signature. And then they give it a... How the hell does this keep happening? Oh, what, 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 what is going on here? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Am I safe? Dude, Erst was so nice. Oh my god, I just said hello in chat. <laughs> And then he's like, then he gives me like this full grilling, and I mean like a really good grilling. Like, he asked me, hey, can you tell me your story? I see that you're a partner. Were you streaming? And then he, then he actually asks me, you know, like what I've been doing. Have I been enjoying it? What do I usually play? And it's just such a weird feeling. I don't, I don't feel like I've ever had that happen. And then his whole community is just like super nice about all of it. And they're not like frustrated because he's like talking to someone about some like yeah, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. Like I can't understand how he's such a nice guy. I love it. I am I am truly honored to be in the same category as him, playing this game. Okay, five. So he's not here. He's probably up top there. Three, two. Oh no. He could be down here as well. There we go. Aha! I think I actually used my brain cage for a moment there. Something happened. It was a small reaction of some sort. I don't know. Perhaps some grey matter butted heads with some other grey matter. And stuff made a little bit more sense. Okay. Wow. There we go. I get it now. Holy crap, that took long enough. I'm sorry, that must have been so frustrating. <laughs> Cutting it close? What? No, I'm not. Oh shit. Maybe I am. This is a big one. <laughs> oh my god. Professional hacking. <laughs> Oh god, that was amazing. That was really good. <laughs> no. 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 No! Absolutely not. That will be... 15 million. Probably at the very least. No! I refuse. Well, there has to be another way. I don't understand. I don't know, dude. I don't know what's going- I just don't know what's going on. I feel lost? And I'm not sure how I feel about feeling lost. You know? Because things are happening. Constantly. And I can't see them happening. I have no idea what they are. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know who's to blame for these things happening. I don't know anything. I'm an idiot, and I shouldn't have done this. I am foolish. Strike me down now as punishment. I will accept my penance willingly. I suffer from severe FOMO. I always fear that I'm going to miss out in the games that I play. Always. And the games always know that they can capitalize on that. I have no power over this situation. I am helpless. So I have to do what I can do to make sure I get what I can get. I did it. I got the hard one. Yes! Oh. No, there's nothing in it. 
<laughs> oh, that's so typical, dude. GG. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Well, I understand hacking. Oh my god. I love it. Whoa! I'm gonna tell you, straight up, I am overwhelmed. Like, the thing is, I was going to bed at night, lying there thinking about Eve, right? But I had a very focused vision every time I lay down to, to, to think about it, alright? I had focused visions about what I wanted to do, about what my next step would be, about basically everything. And the only way I'm gonna now be able to actually come to terms with this whole Omega thing is I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist for a little while. Not for a long while, just for a little while. A couple of days, so that I can wrap my head around it properly and make sense of it. That's the thing. It makes skills go faster, but it opens too many doors. There are so many things that I that I had not considered because I, I knew I wasn't going to go for Omega anytime soon. Select everything? Wait, what? Whoa! That's sick! I had no idea! You can multi-sell!